Hey there, savvy investors. It's Iggy, your go-to guide from Investing Iguana. Today, we're diving deep into a story that's been making waves in the Singaporean financial seas, Singtel's struggle, why Singapore's telecom giant is losing ground. This video was prompted by a subscriber Norman Tom 3475 who mentioned that Singtel is quote, this stock is dead stock inactive, lifeless, and hopeless. Once a titan in the telecom industry, Singtel now finds itself in choppy waters, and we're here to unpack the hows and whys. With years of experience navigating the twists and turns of the market, I'll be shedding light on Singtel's journey from the top of the stock market to its current struggles. We'll explore operational hiccups, strategic missteps, and market shifts that have led to this decline. So, Grab your financial snorkels, and let's dive into the deep end of Singtel's intriguing and turbulent story. In the dynamic and ever-evolving financial landscape of Singapore, a palpable sentiment of disenchantment is brewing among investors. This sentiment is particularly directed towards the blue-chip stocks that have long been the cornerstone of many investment portfolios. These stocks, once considered safe bets, are now being viewed with increasing skepticism. Amid this changing scenario, Singtel, a once formidable giant in the telecommunications sector, stands as a stark example of this trend. Despite its illustrious past and dominant market position, Singtel has recently plunged to its one-year low. This is particularly alarming given its already underwhelming share price, which has been a cause for concern among investors. Delving into Singtel's past paints a rather sobering picture. Imagine being an investor who held Singtel stock for a decade, only to find that, even after factoring in dividends, you'd have incurred a loss of 2%. This is particularly startling considering Singtel's former status as Singapore's largest stock, a position now eclipsed by the local banking triumvirate of DBS, OCBC, and UOB. This downturn in Singtel's fortunes raises several questions. What factors contributed to this decline? Was it a result of poor strategic decisions, or were there external factors at play? Could this decline have been predicted, and if so, what were the warning signs? The question on everyone's lips, what went wrong with Singtel? This is not just a question of academic interest, but one that has significant implications for investors and the broader market. Understanding the factors that led to Singtel's decline could provide valuable insights for navigating the increasingly complex world of investing. It could also serve as a cautionary tale for other blue-chip companies, highlighting the importance of adaptability and strategic foresight in maintaining market dominance. At present, Singtel finds itself in a complex web of operational and strategic challenges that have significantly impacted its performance and market standing. A key player in this unfolding drama is Optus, a subsidiary that contributes a substantial 52% of Singtel's FY23 revenue. Recently, Optus has been caught in a whirlwind of operational chaos, a situation that has had a direct and significant impact on Singtel's financial health. One of the major issues that Optus faced was a network outage, which originated from a glitch during a routine software update. This incident not only disrupted services, causing inconvenience to countless customers, but also sparked a public relations debacle. The fallout from this incident has been far-reaching, potentially leading to an erosion of customer trust, which is a vital asset in the highly competitive telecommunications industry. The network outage incident has also raised questions about Optus's operational efficiency and crisis management capabilities. It has highlighted the need for robust systems and processes to prevent such incidents and manage them effectively when they do occur. Adding to Singtel's woes is the resignation of Optus CEO, Kelly Bayer Rosmarin. This unexpected development has thrown a wrench into the works, causing further uncertainty and instability. Leadership transitions are often challenging, and this one is no exception. The departure of a key leader can have far-reaching implications, affecting employee morale, strategic direction, and stakeholder confidence. This leadership upheaval has cast a long shadow over the subsidiary's future, raising questions about its strategic direction and operational efficiency. It has also been a key factor in Singtel's recent share price tumble, adding to the growing list of concerns for Singtel's investors. 
Furthermore, the telecommunications sector, which was once characterized by premium monthly subscriptions and a relatively stable competitive landscape, has undergone a significant transformation. It is now a battleground of intense competition with little product differentiation. This shift has pushed players like Singtel into a relentless price war, eroding profit margins and making it increasingly difficult to maintain a competitive edge. In this new reality, Singtel's ambitious global expansion strategy, which included acquisitions like Optus and Barty Airtel, has not yielded the expected dividends. These acquisitions were part of Singtel's strategy to diversify its revenue streams and reduce its reliance on the domestic market. However, in this commoditized market, where price often trumps brand loyalty, these acquisitions have not delivered the anticipated returns. This situation is further exacerbated by the fact that the telecommunications market has become increasingly commoditized. In such a market, services that were once considered premium are now widely available, often at lower prices. This has led to a situation where product differentiation is minimal and companies are often forced to compete primarily on price. This relentless price war has put additional pressure on Singtel's revenues and profitability. In its pursuit of diversification, Singtel has ventured into various domains with varying degrees of success. One such venture was Scoob, their attempt to break into the ebooks market. Despite its ambitious beginnings, Scoob struggled to gain traction in the face of rapidly evolving digital trends and stiff competition from established players. This led to its eventual shutdown, marking a setback in Singtel's diversification efforts. Similarly, Singtel's acquisition of Hungry Go Where, a popular food discovery and reservation platform, was another bold move aimed at diversifying its portfolio. However, this initiative also failed to meet expectations, eventually leading to its discontinuation. Singtel's foray into the cybersecurity market with Trustwave was another strategic move aimed at tapping into a high-growth sector. However, this venture also didn't pan out as planned, culminating in a sale at a fraction of the purchase price. This outcome underscored the challenges and risks associated with diversification, particularly in highly specialized and competitive sectors. Even Singtel's latest collaboration with Grab for the digital bank GXS, which was seen as a promising venture, is yet to make a significant mark. While it's still early days for this initiative, its performance so far underscores the challenges Singtel faces in its diversification efforts. However, it's not all doom and gloom for Singtel. The company has demonstrated its ability to unlock value through strategic spin-offs, as seen with Netlink Trust, which reaped a substantial gain for the company. This move showcased Singtel's strategic acumen and its ability to make tough decisions that ultimately benefit its bottom line. There are still assets within Singtel's portfolio that could potentially be spun off to unlock further value. For instance, Digital and Fraco, a subsidiary that owns and operates Singtel's passive infrastructure network, could be a candidate for a spin-off. Similarly, scaling down its stake in Optus could also be a strategic move, given the challenges that Optus has been facing. However, for the average Singtel shareholder, the past decade has been rather lackluster, save for the brief windfall from the Netlink Trust deal. The future doesn't seem to promise significant capital gains or an uptick in share price. Even Singtel's dividends, while consistent, aren't particularly enticing compared to other investment options in the market. Furthermore, the company's core business isn't showing promising signs of improvement. This is a cause for concern, as the core business is the primary driver of the company's revenues and profitability. Without a strong core business, Singtel may struggle to deliver sustainable returns to its shareholders. Firstly, let's address the elephant in the room, Singtel's recent performance. It's no secret that Singtel has been navigating rough waters, marked by operational challenges and strategic missteps. The decline in their stock value, especially given their history as a blue-chip heavyweight, raises valid concerns. But the big question is, does this downward trend spell doom for Singtel in 2024, or is there a silver lining on the horizon? 1. Operational Challenges and Market Dynamics The year 2024 is likely to be a challenging one for Singtel, as it continues to grapple with the operational issues that have plagued it in recent years. 
The telecommunications industry is fiercely competitive and rapidly evolving, with an ongoing shift towards commoditization. This shift is making it increasingly difficult for companies like Singtel to differentiate themselves in the market. Singtel's struggle to carve out a unique position in this environment could persist into 2024 and beyond. This is due to the inherent challenges of operating in a commoditized market where price often trumps brand loyalty and product differentiation is minimal. Furthermore, the global trend of treating telecommunications services as essential utilities could continue to squeeze margins. This trend is driven by regulatory changes and consumer expectations, and it is making profitability a tough nut to crack for companies like Singtel. As essential utilities, telecommunications services are subject to price controls and other regulatory measures, which can limit profitability. 2. Leadership and Strategic Shifts Leadership changes and strategic shifts can indeed be double-edged swords. They have the potential to either propel a company forward or set it back, depending on how they are managed. If Singtel manages to steer its ship with a clear and innovative vision, adapting to the changing demands of the telecom market, it could see a turnaround in its fortunes. This would require not just strategic foresight, but also efficient execution. Strategic foresight involves anticipating future trends and making strategic decisions based on these insights. It requires a deep understanding of the market, the competitive landscape, and the evolving needs and preferences of customers. In the context of Singtel, this could involve identifying new growth opportunities, developing innovative products and services, and finding ways to differentiate itself in a commoditized market. Efficient execution, on the other hand, involves translating these strategic decisions into action. This requires strong leadership, effective management, and a culture of innovation and agility. It involves coordinating various functions within the organization, managing resources effectively, and ensuring that all efforts are aligned with the strategic objectives. However, as you rightly pointed out, efficient execution has been a challenge for Singtel in the past. This is evident in the operational issues that the company has faced, as well as in the mixed success of its diversification efforts. Overcoming these challenges will be crucial for Singtel's future success. 3. Diversification and New Ventures Singtel's attempts at diversification have historically met with mixed success. However, the company's recent digital banking venture with Grab, known as GXS, holds potential. This venture represents a significant strategic shift for Singtel as it seeks to leverage its telecommunications infrastructure and customer base to tap into the burgeoning digital banking market. If this venture gains traction in 2024, it could have a positive impact on Singtel's financial health. The success of GEXS could provide a much-needed boost to Singtel's revenues and profitability and could also enhance its market position by diversifying its portfolio and reducing its reliance on the increasingly commoditized telecommunications market. However, it's important to note that GXS is still a nascent project. While it holds promise, its impact on Singtel's financial performance and market position is yet to be fully realized. Significant contributions to revenue or a noticeable impact on the market are still to be seen. The success of GXS will likely depend on a number of factors, including the competitive landscape of the digital banking market, regulatory considerations, and the ability of Singtel and Grab to effectively leverage their respective strengths to deliver a compelling value proposition to customers. 4. Investment in 5G and Future Technologies 5G technology indeed represents a significant investment area for Singtel. As we move into 2024, the effectiveness of Singtel's strategy to monetize this investment will be a key determinant of its success. Given the high setup costs associated with 5G technology, deriving a sustainable and profitable business model from this investment will be a crucial challenge. The ability to innovate and find lucrative use cases for 5G will be a key factor in this endeavor. This could involve exploring new service offerings, tapping into emerging markets, or leveraging partnerships to create value-added services. The potential applications of 5G are vast, ranging from enhanced mobile broadband services to Internet of Things, IoT, applications, autonomous vehicles, and more. 
However, innovation alone may not be sufficient. Singtel will also need to navigate the regulatory landscape, manage the technical complexities associated with 5G deployment, and ensure that its network infrastructure is robust and secure. Furthermore, it will need to convince customers of the value of 5G services, which may require significant marketing and customer education efforts. 5. Potential Asset Spin-Offs Despite the challenges it faces, Singtel still possesses valuable assets in its portfolio. These assets, if managed strategically, could unlock significant value and provide a much-needed boost to the company's stock. This strategy of strategic spin-offs, similar to the successful case of Netlink Trust, could be a viable path for Singtel to enhance its financial performance and investor sentiment. Netlink Trust, a subsidiary of Singtel, was spun off in a move that reaped substantial gains for the company. This successful spin-off not only unlocked value but also provided a short-term boost to Singtel's stock. It demonstrated Singtel's ability to strategically manage its assets and create value for its shareholders. Looking ahead to 2024, if Singtel has similar moves in the pipeline, they could potentially sway investor sentiment in a positive direction. Strategic spin-offs of other valuable assets within Singtel's portfolio could provide additional sources of revenue and improve the company's financial health. This, in turn, could enhance investor confidence and lead to an uptick in Singtel's stock price. As we look towards 2024, Singtel's stock presents a mixed bag. The company faces significant challenges, but also potential opportunities for growth and revival. The success of new ventures, effectiveness in dealing with operational challenges, and strategic decisions will be crucial. As always, investors should keep a close eye on market dynamics, company performance, and strategic moves before making investment decisions. In the world of investing, staying informed and adaptable is key. This is Iggy, your guide in the financial jungle, reminding you to invest wisely and stay ahead of the curve.